What's up, jerks? Welcome to part 20 of my Pokemon uh, White playthrough. And, um, well, this time we have to go through Celestial Tower to track down the gym leader, Skyla, who said to come here um, because she was helping, like, an injured Pokemon or some such. Whatever. So this is the Celestial Tower. This is where Pokemon are buried in this uh, region. <clears throat> so, like, if I ever kill a Pokemon, they get buried here. You know how it is. So the Pokemon Top is probably dead in all actuality. Um, and I don't know why she would bother helping it. Oh, well. But anyway, so here's Psychic Doreen. And this person has this weird rock Pokemon, and I have no idea what his type is. Um, it looks kind of like a rock, so maybe it'll be uh, weak to Razor Leaf. You never know. And um, it doesn't appear so. So I have no idea what kind of Pokemon it is. I'm going to use Signal Beam. <clears throat> oh, wait. Was that Signal Beam or Simple Beam? I don't know. Maybe my type simple, which means it has no type. Maybe I misread it. I don't know. It didn't do any damage. It wasn't Signal Beam. Whatever it was, it didn't do much. Um, so anyway, here comes Siglyph. And, um, yeah, I better switch here. I'm just going to go out into my troll, because my troll be trolling flying types, as you guys know by now. I'm just going to use my Rock Slide, and that's pretty cool. Just a reminder, um, I edited my game using a, um, a uh, tool. That, uh, so I changed the um, level requirement of Bulldore from um, a trade evolution to level 38. So when it reaches level 38, it's going to evolve. Um, I just thought that would be better than keeping it a Bulldore for the entire playthrough, since I can't obviously trade. Um, since this is anyway, so, um, okay, so here's Solosis. And Solosis is the normal psychic thing, and I misclicked and used <laughs> Reflect, which is pointless. And now he's going to charm me, which means my attack goes down, and I was just planning to, like, fly it to death, and, yeah, after a charm, it's doing no damage, which is unfortunate, since I would like to get the experience on Pinata, since Pinata's my lowest level Pokemon. Um, so let's just kill it eventually. Kept it as recover, great. So I'm just going to switch now, because I don't feel like wasting forever, you know, flying and then recovering, and flying and recovering, and flying and then recovering, you get the idea. I am switching the heck out, because my only other move is a Psychic-type move, which is not very effective. Um, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's go out into a Pokemon that can deal with, um, bug, sorry, Psychic-types, which is my love bug. Because I can just bug bite it to death. And, um, last video, people were kind enough to remind me that, uh, Signal Beam, um, is learned to level 34, making Struggle Bug kind of useless on Love Bug at this point, because, I mean, just level up once and I can get, um... Uh, signal Beam, which is pretty good uh, as a special bug move. Anyway, but anyway, so, um, yeah, that's a dead Solosis, which didn't give any experience and was probably way too much time than it was worth. But whatever. Let's switch out the front member of my party to my Pinata, since my Pinata is the lowest level. And this person is Meow Meow Meow. I thought, you know, I think, you know, saying, I want to battle you would suffice, you know? You don't have to say meow 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 meow. I don't think people have really noticed that as a battle, you know, signature. More like a bad cat food commercial. All right, but anyway, here's a deerling, and deerling is weak to flying, so I'm just going to kill it because that's good. Get some HP back for Pinata using his item, and now Pinata's level 33, guys. OMG! All right, so here comes Gothita. And that is a psychic type Pokemon, so I'm just gonna go out into my love bug because I know I can bug bite it and I wanna get to level 34 so I can learn Signal Beam, because Signal Beam is the move, yo! The move! It's, um, yeah, pretty good. But, um, unfortunately, Gothita isn't worth too much experience, but, eh, that's life. Alright, so, uh, let's go pick up this item. It is a hyper potion, that'll come in handy, I'm sure. And this person wants to battle me because he feels like dying. And um, when two trainers engage, they, well, they engage in a Pokemon battle. I think it's something, he said something like that. Alright, this guy has an Emolga, which is like a flying Pikachu, so I must kill it. Um, yeah, even though I'm weak to Psychic, you know, Psybeam will probably still kill this thing in one hit, and I can get some health back, so. And it doesn't kill it in one hit. These guys are actually strangely high-leveled. I feel like I've, like, missed something, because my Pokemon are kind of, um, uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Or just beat the gym leader with somewhat underleveled Pokemon. But it's okay, guys. I got this. I got this, guys. Whatever. Um, so Amolgo's probably just going to die to a few side beams since apparently they use a Hyper Potion on it, which is annoying. But I guess that actually helps me, because I still doesn't get a hit off some time faster. And uh, that just helps me heal a little bit with my um, item. All right, so here comes Hurtier, who's going to intimidate me. And I know these things can have crunch. I'm just going to reflect. Um, pretty good move. 
And it's gonna roar, so whatever. Okay, dude. And they goes it roars me into bacon. That's not so bad, because now I have a reflect up and I can just go arm thrust, which is super effective. And I hit only twice. Oh well. And it's gonna roar me again. That's pointless. And I roars me into Pinata again, so hopefully Pinata can just finish the thing off now with Psy Beam. And yes I do, and I get some health back. Oh man, that was probably the best thing that could have happened. Um, good game, Pokemon tr fan Jude. I like your kid, he's a very cute kid, even though he doesn't appear in your overworld sprite. Um, so this person has a strong Pokemon, apparently, so let's kill it for, hopefully, some mass experience. This is another Poke fan, and the sh uh, she has a Swadloon, um, which should die to flying. So let's go. And, you see, actually, that's that's one of the advantages of uh, Fly being two moves, because it, it makes them waste that uh, Protect, since they can't use it twice in a row. Well, they can, but it, it would likely fail. I don't think AI does that. Maybe it does, I don't know. Anyway, good game, Pokefan Georgia. I think that's her name, I don't remember. Um, Reflect War Off. I think there's some ghosts around here, actually. I should probably set it up again. But, uh, ooh, TM61 Will-O-Wisp. I believe my bacon can learn it. So, um, let's see. Maybe I would like to replace it, because burn can be very useful against, um, you know, phys any physical Pokemon that's giving you troubles. You can just burn it, you know? Because burn is, like, has attack and stuff. Alright, so anyway, let's go see. And, um, yeah, bacon can learn it. And... You know what? Rollout is, like, I've never used really use it anymore. Um, just kind of have better options than Rollout. So I'm just going to get rid of Rollout for Will-O-Wisp. Seems like a pretty nice play. So let's go up these steps and... Oh, Wild Encounter. I forgot to use the Repel. Lovely. Uh, this is a Litwick, which is um, Fire Ghost type. Pretty interesting Pokemon that I would consider if I wasn't... I didn't start with Bacon, so... Um, so let's just kill it and stuff. And unfortunately it's going to burn me with Will-O-Wisp. Fun. Um... And I'm just going to side beam it to death, but unfortunately, yeah, I'm going to have to waste like a full heal or something to stop this burn. At least that gives me an opportunity to also use a max repel, because I don't feel like dealing with wild encounters at the moment, because wild encounters are lame! Um, and no, I don't really want to use the PP up yet. I have no idea what move I would use it on. Um, so yeah, now we can use... Where is it? Oh, there it is, max repel. Nice. Alright, so, now that I sprayed the Max Repel, I should be good for the rest of this tower, since Max Repel's, like, lasts a pretty long time and stuff. Alright, I will... I'm a Pokemon trainer. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Pokeballs and the backpack and the punk kid look, you know, kind of gives it away, but... I guess I guess you could also know it because you're psychic. Alright, anyway, so here's a, uh, Moosh Arna, this very own fetus. Let's see how much Fly does. I mean, Psy Beam is resisted, so maybe Fly can do some damage? No, it doesn't. And he's going to Hypnosis and, of course, hit. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, let's just switch since Fly didn't do anything anyway, and I don't really feel like dealing with, you know, Hypnosis. Uh, so, yeah. so let's go into Battle Bug. Um, Battle Bug should be able to kill this thing with, you know, bug moves, so it always does. It's got a Lucky Chant, which protects his team from critical hits, and so now I can't hack him to death, but, you know, still, it still wasn't a great chance I was going to get a crit anyway, so it's a pretty bad move overall. <sighs> Alright, so... Let's just use Bug Bite. It's super effective, it's physical, and he's almost dead anyway. Dead, stupid Misharna, you know, fetus thing. And uh, Pinata apparently evolves even though he's asleep. Or, sorry, levels up even though he's asleep. He's trying to learn Mirror Move, which is a terror bad move, so he's not going to learn it. Um, Alright, so, let's go into my inventory. Uh, full heal to heal up my Pinata. Um, because I don't really like being asleep, because it's annoying. Um, and that's pretty good. Let's just switch out the front member by parte and, um, yeah, continue. I still want to fight. Well, I didn't know you wanted to fight before, so this is news to me. Um, Psychic Lin has a Litwick, which is unfortunate since I believe I put Battlebug in front of my party and Battlebug is weak to fire. Um, and I really don't think I have anything to hurt a fire ghost type. I think, uh, what, Bug is resisted by fire and ghost, and then we have, uh, Grass, which is resisted by fire. So let's just switch into Troll, because my Troll be trolling, because I have a rock move, and I resist fire, so that's good. Like that one random fire attack he used. Alright, so let's just go, uh, Rock Slide. It's super effective, it's stabbed, it should kill the annoying Litwick, and I get no experience for doing so. Um, Swoobat is another flying type, or is a flying type, which is also weak to Rock Slide. He's gonna Calm Mind, but I think he's just gonna die to the Rock Slide, so... That's not so bad for me, guys, and Swoobat's worth a decent amount of experience, because it's an evolved form. And that, evolved, that levels my troll to level 34. Oh, man. 
So that person calms down, which is good, because she was kind of like being hyperactive and stuff. Um, and this person is pleased by hot Pokemon battles. That kind of sounds kind of, well, disturbing. But it is the truth, that's what he said. Alright, so he, this, he has a Yeah Mask, which is a ghost type. I still don't have anything that can damage a ghost type on my battle bug that well, so let's just switch out. Um, I'm going to go out into my bacon, because my bacon is, is a pile of bacon, man. Delicious, delicious bacon. Alright, but um, I'm just going to flame charge because it's stabbed, and it's, I don't really have much to do against a ghost type. And it gives me mummy, which is kind of annoying, but still. It's got a curse, which lowers its own HP, but on also, I think, it does 25% to me each turn, so it's not nice. Hopefully, it'll let me switch out before I get the second curse, because I know I can kill it with another flame charge. Hopefully, I can switch out now before the curse. Oh crap. Uh, that's annoying. Oh well, so he's gonna go on a Golet. I have to switch, otherwise I'm gonna die to my own, the curse thing, so... Um, Golet is the, uh, ground ghost type in this gen, so... Kind of interesting typing, but it is weak to grass. So let's just use Razor Leaf for the win! Um, and that is indeed for the win. And, yeah, that's life. And apparently I have a Flaming Spirit. Not really, just a Flaming Pig Pokemon is what I have, but... Eh, he's probably too dumb to notice that it's a pig and not a spirit Pokemon. You know, Bacon's definitely a fire yeah, fighting type, not a fire ghost type. Oh well. Um, so here's another psychic over here guarding an item, so might as well go get it. And he's wondering if he'll be enlightened by a Pokemon battle. He's searching for, you know, the you know, searching for the answers in life. You know, the why of the universe. You know, aren't we all searching for that? I think so. Even if you don't want to admit it. So this guy has the evolved form, like the second form of Runicles, and it still dies to one hit to a bug bite, so that's life. And Battle Bug's gonna be level 34 because of it due to it being evolved form, so that's not bad. And now I can switch out the front mode of my party, since it's level 34, and I can grab this item, which is a spell tag, which I believe lowers encounter rates when like it's on the front of my party, or maybe it raises ghost type moves. I can't remember which. So this is a nurse, meaning um Okay, this is a nurse person. And she will heal my Pokemon if I win, so which is kind of good, since my Pokemon, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have been using items, so they're not, like, super weak in terms of HPs, yo, but they are kind of low in PP, so, um, anyway, we can hopefully beat her without too much problems. Uh, so, Gothita will die to one hit to my Bug Bite, thanks to a crit, and now this person sends out a Mola Mola Mola. Wait, um, a la wait, let me read this, a la o molga a la molga Silly name for a silly Pokemon. Um, so, yeah, this thing apparently has some, like, special defense, because my stab charge beam is not doing too much, and I didn't even get the special attack boost, which is lame. But I do get a crit, so that's not bad. Although I still didn't get the special attack boost. Whatever, it's already a win. And now she can make my Pokemon healthy, because she has to, you know, hurt my Pokemon before making them healthy. That's just the rule of all nurses and doctors in this game. Um, so let's go up to the next floor, and oh, there's some cool trainers on this floor, meaning they're going to be um, quite difficult, probably. Or ace trainers, whatever, you know, the game feels like calling them at the time. Um, so here comes Beckett, and he has, oh, the fully evolved form of that puppy Pokemon, Stoutland. Um, and I'm just going to uh, Volt Switch out, and because I thought I would be faster, but I'm not. Um, I guess that's what happens when you're not fully evolved. And I take a lot from that takedown. So let's go out of my bacon. I want to get above a Will-O-Wisp because, you know, level 33 Statland seems like a pretty good Pokemon to Will-O-Wisp, you know, since it has pretty high attack, and when it doesn't have high attack, it's probably not that much of a threat. Um, and you see how much, like, it e takedown even did to bacon, so it's pretty powerful. Now I'm just gonna go for a fighting move to hopefully kill this thing. Um, one, two, no, oh, it's gonna die to the burn anyway, but still. Anyway, stupid Stalin. And, um, at least it's some worth some decent experience. 1,000 plus for two of my guys, and both of them level up to level 34. And, as I mentioned, Love Bug can learn Signal Beam at level 34. And I will get rid of Bug Bite for it, since Bug Bite is physical and Signal Beam is special. Which, um plays into the hand of my battle or my love bug a little better than you know you know what I'm saying. Alright, uh, so let's use these super potions to heal bacon since bacon's kinda like, dude, guys, I'm like pooped. Um alright, so let's pick up this item, which is a revive. Never a bad item to find. And here's another cool trainer. And she said something about Pokemon who grew up in Unova or something. I don't really know. 
And her name's Cassandra. That's a pretty cool name, I guess. Pretty unique, especially with a K. Um, Alright, so Lovebug against Swoobat. And he's got his Amnesia, which is kind of annoying, actually, because that's going to make my Charge Boom do less. And I yeah, get the special attack boost, so hopefully he doesn't use Amnesia again, because otherwise he'll be doing, like, no damage. And he does use Amnesia again. Or she. Which is, I'm not, I'm gonna admit, guys, kind of annoying. And now I'm doing, like, no damage with Charge Beam, so, you know, screw this, guys. I used Electro Web for some reason. I probably meant to use Volt Switch. Um... I, what am I talking about? I knew I meant to use Volt Switch. I did lower speed, so now I can use Volt Switch without dying, so that's good. And I don't quite kill it, so I'm just going to have to finish it off with something else. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, Air Slash did quite a lot since, you know, Joltik doesn't have very good defenses. Um, oh well. And it's, I'm going to evade the Air Slash. I'm just going to use Strength to finish it off since I you know, don't really want to waste Rock Slide PP. And now she has a Gotharita, which is the evolved form of the goth Pokemon, you know, the psychic type thing. I don't know why I kept Troll in, because Troll is nothing really do this thing, so let's just go out into my Battle Bug, because my Battle Bug can just Bug Buddy to death, and it's going to do a weird move that I never heard of. Oh, so it raises my special attack by two stages and then confuses me, so it's kind of like, um, Swagger. Just not as cool, because Swagger raises attack because it makes, um, Confusion do more damage to yourself. That one just seems kind of bad, honestly. Um, because you'd probably rather raise the attack when you confuse them instead of the special attack. I guess it depends on the Pokemon, obviously. But in general, I don't know. Alright, so let's just grab this item over here, and this is Shadow Claw. Well, let's see if any of my Pokemon can learn it. It's a Ghost-type move, which gives it... It's like, Ghost is the best attack move, obviously, but, you know, probably could be an advantage. The only Pokemon that can learn it is apparently, um, Battle Bug. Um, and you know what? It's probably better than Struggle Bug, because at least this gives me now something that can hurt ghost types. Um, so, I mean, yeah, Struggle Bug, I'd never actually use it since Bug Bite always seems to be better than it, so. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, so I'm finally on the top of this tower, so let's talk to Skyla. Oh, you came! Of course I did, because I want to actually advance in this game. Oh, so you already helped the Pokemon, so, yeah. Coming up here is completely pointless. Uh, I guess Max Revives are pretty good, pretty legit. So, you say that the character of the person ringing this bell is reflected on the bell's chimes. Let's ring it then. Oh, very surreal. This is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. It reproved something. Uh, pretty sound. I'm a strong and kind person. You can tell that by a bell chime. Um, nice to meet you. I think we already were introduced, however. Oh, a big welcome. I hope that means, you know, a Pokemon battle, which is why I came up here, you freaking jerk. Ah. You know what? You know, I think I can fly off this tower, so let's just do that. I'm gonna, I'll go all the way back through the uh, freaking tower. I'm like, I think I can fly. And I can! Nice! So I can go all the way back to Mr. Alton City. And um, here we are at the Pokemon Center, so that means I can, like, heal up my dudes. And uh, Skyla is a pilot, so her gym is probably in that airport place, so I can kind of explore that using the last uh, two minutes of my time um, in this video. Oh, and Repel's effect wore off. Oh, poo. Not really. Um, okay, so. Hi, what's up, dude? It's dangerous to play on the landing strip. No shit. Um, oh, there's someone over here. Oh, and an item! Oh, my goodness. Planes, planes, something about planes. And I got a sky drop. But I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn it except for Pinata, but I already have Fly, and um, I don't think I want to get rid of any of my other moves for it. Hello! Something about delicious vegetables. You know, I kind of like vegetables. My Pokemon apparently like them too, but apparently nothing's growing here right now, so I'm just gonna leave. Don't really feel like figuring that thing out. Um, so there's another person over here. Pokemon and people work together. No way! Guys, I'm being sarcastic. So here's the gym, the Pokemon gym, where Skyla is the gym leader. And yeah, I don't think I can go actually... Can I, I don't think so. Um, but anyway, so I guess next time I will be fighting the gym. So rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for that, homies. Bye, jerks!